welcome back to my channel my name is Ty and if you are new here welcome to the team welcome to the family if you are checking in on me because you are already subscribed thank you so much for tuning in yet again so today I wanted to do a quick makeup look for you guys I think it came out really pretty and it was actually quite easy so if you want to see how I got this lovely makeup look then just keep on watching Okay guys, so first I'm taking the original shadow shield and I use them a little bit differently. I like to cut mine in half and just use it for the sharp edge. Um, you are more than welcome to use tape for this part if you like, but this is just what I do. And these are the colors we will be working with today. These are Coastal Scent Shadows and of course a Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop. I love this. So we're going to start out with Dark Mango by Coastal Scents as my initial transition color. And it's just like a nice wash of a light uh, orange color, like a mango color. And then I'm going to go ahead and deepen that with a second color. And that one is going to be Bright Tangerine by Coastal Scents. And this one is a very, very, very vibrant orange. So it's very pretty, but uh, definitely take your time to build this up slowly. Then I'm going to deepen up this outer V with Coastal Scents Maroon Berry and I'm just focusing on the outer third of my lid and then I'm kind of dragging it upwards towards an angle. Really taking my time to build that color. And I'm going back in with that uh, bright tangerine to kind of blend it all out, that orange color we used. And now I'm taking Jane Color Stick. This is so old, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this color. This is called Mercury Rising, and it's like a metallic olivey gold I don't even know <laughs> but I'm just using this as a base and then going ahead and spreading it out with a synthetic flat brush just to create a nice base um, and if you don't want to put it directly in your lid you can go ahead and wipe it onto your synthetic brush as well mine was a little bit dry because this thing is old and then I just mushed it on the mirror on accident <laughs> And now I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Super, Super Shock Shadow in Weenie. I love this color, it's a beautiful rose gold color and these shadows are best applied with the finger. But it can be a little bit difficult, especially if you have nails, um, cause you know, trying to get in there precise can be a little bit challenging, but the fingers definitely make this pop. And then I went back in with that bright tangerine and just kind of blended out you know, any areas that I put in there too far or too high. And then of course deepening up that outer V to blend it in with that maroon berry. And this is the final look. I'm going to pop my brows, liner, and lashes on. And yeah. For contour, I'm going to go in with MAC Blunts. And I like to use a fluffy angled brush to really work it in those cheekbones, to snatch my face. And I do the outer perimeter of my face. And something I like to do to kind of blend that contour is to take the tip of the fluffy brush and really work it in there. It definitely diffuses the edges. Now I'm going in with my blush. This is MAC Raisin and it's just a really subtle, um, just a really subtle blush. It's one of my favorites. I kind of use this one when I want to wear blush, but not really though. Now I'm taking Maybelline Master Chrome and 100 Molten Gold. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, I went kinda ham <laughs> with this highlighter, yes. It's just, this is a beautiful highlighter. At first I didn't really like it, I don't know, but now I'm starting to really like it. So I put it on my cheekbones, I put it on my button nose, my cupid's bow, the middle of my forehead. I popped it on my inner corner, my brow bone. So yeah, I went <laughs> highlight ham this time, y'all. But I think it really pulled the look together. So do you, boo. Thank you. 
Now I'm doing the lower lash line and I'm using that bright, or I started out with maroon berry, that purpley color, and then right below it I went with bright tangerine, that orange color that we used. Putting on some mascara and some nude uh, eyeliner on my waterline to make my eyes pop. Then for lips, I just grabbed whatever liner was near me. That is MAC Cork, but I really didn't need it. And then I popped on Wet n Wild Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in Nice to Fuchsia, and then MAC Sushi Kiss towards the center. And I used my finger just to kind of blend it out to give it a, you know, ombre-ish look. And then sprayed my face with some matte setting spray. And this is it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.